Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. We're gonna go through our second video here on location-based reminders and then reminders in general. Now this one specifically is going to deal with those of you who have Android devices. So if you have an Android phone or you have an Android tablet, this tutorial is gonna be for you. What I'm going to show you here are some of the basic information pieces you're going to need here to start with reminders and location based reminders with your Google Home and your Android devices. I'm going to take you through the different applications you can use today to set and or create reminders both time based and location based and then I'm going to show you how to ensure you're getting those notifications both on your Google Home and on your Android device. We're gonna start by looking at the Google Home support page here. You can see it's actually broken down by Android and iPhone or iPad. And then it's also telling you at the top there that it's only available in the US, UK, Australia, and Canada. So you do have to be in one of those countries or you do have to have your language set to one of those in order for this to work. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you here is if you have multiple people, and I'm not gonna show that in this video, but if you do, what you need to do is make sure you've turned on multi-user, linked your accounts, both of your accounts, and then you make sure that each one has personal results with voice match on. Once you've done that, it's essentially just a number of agreements that you're gonna go through. Now I do realize that for this entire time we've been on the iPhone page here on the Google Home support page, but what I can tell you is that they're essentially the same in terms of this content. So we're not gonna worry about that. We're just gonna move on to Google Home on our Android device here. We're gonna head down to the more settings and find our device. Now here are the settings you need to make sure are on. There's personal results and there's notifications. So you need both of those turned on in order to get your reminder notifications on both the Google Home and on your device here. Now let me show you through the Google Assistant how this works. Now keep in mind I do have an Android tablet that naturally comes with Google Assistant but I did go out and download the application separately anyways. So you can see I'm setting a reminder here to go outside and work but I've asked for it to be based on when I get home. So that's actually a location-based reminder. Now, home is a saved location. So you can save different location names. Home is one that's saved within here. I'll show you that a little later in the video. For now, I'm gonna set a second reminder and I'm gonna show you how you do this manually. So you can see I just said, add a reminder. I'm gonna pick up milk. I'm gonna choose a location here, so I'm setting the location, but I'm actually just gonna type in a location. Now, of course, you could be doing this all with your voice with Google Assistant, and I'm just gonna save it there. And let's have a quick look at our two reminders. So you can see the ones at home and the one is at that new location I created. Now I'm just gonna set a time-based reminder so that you can see it's essentially the same interface. I'm gonna call this one do something else today and I'm gonna set an exact time here. So we're just gonna set it a few minutes ahead around two o'clock. I'm not gonna have any repeats and we're just gonna go ahead and save that one. So now you can see I have one today at two o'clock and two location-based reminders. So now I wanna show you two other applications that can do reminders that will interface with your Google Home. So here's Google Calendar. You can create a reminder. Now right now what I'll tell you is this application in Canada is not capable of doing a location-based one, but you can do this if you're on an iPhone in Canada. So right now you can't do the locations, on the Google Calendar here, but pretty much everywhere else you're supposed to be able to do this. So I'm just gonna set a time-based reminder at this point, just for a couple minutes after the last reminder I did, and we're calling this one Make Reservations for Dinner. You can see that's been created, and you can also see 
the do something else reminder that was set for two o'clock down in the bottom left of our calendar here. So now, like I said, I'm gonna skip over to what's called Inbox by Gmail. Now, this is the other application that can create reminders for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create another reminder here. So you just see the plus down at the bottom. And when I click that plus, you get a number of options, but one of them is Reminder. I'm just gonna click Do Something Else here, but you can see up top right, there's a little clock up there and this is what your reminder is based on so I'm going to select place and I could select my two locations that I've created now I'm just going to start typing in an address and so 90210 comes to my mind we're just going to pick one here now you can see I could name this place so that I could call that location something else I want and then whenever I refer to that location with Google Home it will know the location by name so I'm going to just set another reminder here I'm going to say I'm going to text my dad and again you can set it based on a place a time whatever I'm going to set it based on another place and now I have text dad back so we have a large number of reminders now that we've created in three different applications let's go into the reminder section of inbox by Gmail that's just up in the menu here down to reminders and you can see all of these reminders we've created throughout this time here there's quite a large number so I'm going to skip over now to the Google Assistant and and here you go you can see we only have one reminder at 2.10 today that's at a specific time. Our do something else one that we'd set early on in the video at 2. That time's actually passed while I've been creating this video. But so that is called ongoing right now. You can see I have four different reminders that are at a specific location. And you can see all those address locations as well. So now we've been able to see these reminders in two applications and if we wanted to we could go in and we could edit any of these reminders right now from the Google Assistant app. So let's go ahead, I'll do a demo with Google Home now. I'm sure you've been waiting a while here. Let's get into Google Home and I'll show you how that works. One thing to note here is you're looking at that little white dot on my Google Home. So what that means is there's a reminder, but that reminder was set on your Android device in this case. So there's no sound notification. This is the only thing you'll see. So then you've got to ask Google what's going hey, on. Google. What's up? I just wanted to tell you that you have one reminder. Make reservations for dinner tomorrow for today at 2.10 p.m. Hey, Google. What reminders do I have? You have two reminders today. Do something else at 2 p.m. And make reservations for dinner tomorrow at 2.10 p.m. Hey, Google. Set a reminder to go outside later at 2.12 p.m. Okay. I'll remind you at 2.12 p.m. Now, by comparison, here's the sound you get when you set a reminder, whether it's location or time-based, on your Google Home. There is a reminder for Brian. All right, there you go. So now you should be able to set reminders, both time-based and place-based, on your Android device and or on your Google Home. You can receive those different notifications on your different devices. And of course, you're going to be able to customize what you want to see throughout that process. Now. Of course, at the end of this video, there's a subscribe button coming, and if you'd like more of these tutorials, please hit that. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.